Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. Got a good one for you today. Going to get into uh, Omar Trinidad and Hector Sosa in what should be a really interesting fight. Uh, before we get into that, guys, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, the Boxing Bookie comes out to you for every single major fight, so you have to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The odds makers of bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to make money consistently betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in this little ticket below. Just $5 a month it gets you the lock of the week. It gets you to ask the bookie anything. It gets you the updated props. It gets you the absolute best gambling advice anywhere in the boxing world. Uh, join the Patreon. Just $5 a month, guys. Also, uh, head over to carnivalbar.com. Carnivalbar.com. Uh, that's the nutrition of a steak. In the convenience of a bar, that's carnivorebar.com. Use promo code BOXING at checkout. That's promo code BOXING at checkout to save 10%. Uh, on the move nutrition without compromise. Uh, also, subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Guys, i got to try to make this a quick show. I am super, super tired. i got a lot to get into. So let's start with Omar Trinidad. Omar Trinidad. Uh, good fighter, good feet, can maintain distance really well, good height and reach, little herky-jerky, uses a lot of pre-slips, he likes to exchange, good volume, throws in combination, good movement, keeps keeps coming, keeps coming, off the front foot, slipping, slipping a little bit, like reads his program, but not to that degree with the pre-slips, but moving, and he likes to come forward, and he likes to exchange. Throws long, straight shots, can snipe from the outside. Good straight right hand. Uh, his, his length and his volume is going to be an issue for anyone. There's a lot to like about him. He judges distance and maintains that distance really, really well. Uh, love the right hand. It's accurate from the outside. He knows how to set it up. Good power. Good gas tank. He can come on late. He carries his power late. His shots are accurate and straight from the outside. He's very good from the outside. Quick and explosive with the left hook that he leads with. Front foot guy all the time. Front foot. Good volume. Good pop. Works his angles. Not the easiest guy in the world to catch clean, uh, but he, you know, he will get caught in exchanges. Omar Trinidad is a, a, a nice-looking prospect that's long and herky-jerky and, and hard to deal with with good pop he's a lot to deal with he's not an easy out uh for anyone he's going to be taking on hector sosa uh hector sosa pressure fighter come forward aggressive opens up takes chances tough as hell aggressive fighter doesn't jab enough. Like, he comes in and he forces the action, but he doesn't do it behind the jab. Decent speed, decent athleticism. Likes the pressure and come forward as well. Lack of a jab is going to come back to hurt him. Winning rounds. Uh, volume, commits, throws hard shots. Quick, explosive, power shots. Takes his chances. Digs the body really well. It's aggressive, aggressive, come forward, pressure fighter. Straight in and out, not hard to hit. He's not difficult to find. Uh, and I, I think his inability to jab and the ease in, of which you can hit him from the outside, coming in, he's going to get caught. I, I think this is a fun, entertaining fight between two good offensive fighters. Uh, but I think Hector Sosa eventually fights into the hands of Omar Trinidad. Let's take a look at the odds. Let's see how we can make money on this fight. Uh, one second. Being weird. All right, let's get this pulled up. Let's find the fight. Omar Trinidad still sitting at minus 290. Uh, this is not a bad bet. I like Trinidad. Uh, it's not a lock, I would say, but I'm pretty confident Omar Trinidad. He's, he's cleaner fighter, better fighter. It's not terrible odds. 
Uh, hundred dollar bet makes it thirty five bucks. Not terrible. Plus two ninety. Omar Trinidad money line. Uh, again, I, you know, there's no props on this, but if you have a book, if you can find a book with props on, I'd stay away from it. I'm pretty confident it goes the distance, and, and you can take a look at the over if you want. But the safest bet here, Omar Trinidad, money line, he's minus 290. He should definitely win this fight. Uh, you can parlay with this, although it's not the best lock in the world. The odds on this are good to parlay with. You can add this and, and throw in a couple easy money fights. You're making decent money at this. Uh, it's Omar Trinidad, uh, one times bet, $35, minus, 100, uh, minus 290. Uh, I, I think I feel this is pretty safe. This is a pretty safe bet. And it, it's not terrible odds, so I would lock this in and take Trinidad on the money line. Better prospect. I like both these prospects. I think Hector Sosa is a decent fighter, and I think Trinidad is a good fighter. I like both these prospects. I think both of these prospects are solid fighters. Uh, I think Trinidad obviously has the brighter future, and I, I would take Trinidad to win most likely on points with his size and his length and, and his power and his ability to – Set things up and land that right hand. All right, y'all. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. It is October 25th, 2024 from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.